Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 12 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum. Okay, we are still in Area 4, and we got our third opponent, Ishizu Ishtar, who of course is the sister of Merrick, on the Crimson Valley. So, let's get to it, shall we? So, of course, she also has a Millennium Item. I think every opponent in Area 4 except for Kaiba has a Millennium Item. Shadi, I believe, had two. Shizu, of course, has the Millennium Necklace. So you're my next opponent, Ishizu. Fate has foretold that you and I were destined to duel. And I assume you'll tell me that no one can escape their destiny. Ah, uh, I knew you were going to say that. Hmm. With the magic of her Millennium Necklace, she will prove most formidable. Let us begin, Yugi. It's time to duel, Ashizu. I mean, I like the Millennium Items do anything. All she has to do is just get a capsule somewhere, and there you go. Not like she actually gets clairvoyance. If she did, she'd just be input reading the whole game. Alright, I get first peek of her capsules. Wood, wind, dark, dark, earth, and wind? So, like, three or four types. Ooh, 900 MP is the cap. Ooh, I can work with this, no problem. I forgot that I actually did lose only one monster against Kaiba. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't have to worry about bringing any, uh... Anything that can deal with... Uh, Dark cannot be dealt with. That's what I'm trying to say. She has no light with her. So I'm thinking I should probably be bring at least some new dark types. Well, I still want to bring some in Skull. I'm thinking about actually bringing in... Do I want to bring in Barrel Dragon or Dark Magician? Oh, yeah, Dark Contract to increase... Attack of all friendly dark HP monsters within range by 42 points! That is really good! What about Dark Magician? I mean, that's actually not bad. Wait, if we do this... Dark Magician has just pretty much got the same movement as Karibo, then. Yeah, we'll, we'll do Dark Magician. I did have some good vibes with Kamakiri, man, so let's bring him back again. And because we are dealing with some, you know, dark monsters, I think Light would be good, too. She has no Thunder to counter that. I think we'll bring... Should we bring Wicked Dragon? I don't think I should bring Wind. Even though there are some Wind tiles, or at least there's benefits for Wind. There's no Water Monsters I can get the advantage on. So that might be a no-go for now. Spike Snail might be good. Actually, let's weigh it down based on, on Muscle. I could end up bringing Karibo anyway, honestly. What about Curse of Dragon? It's kind of like Dark Magician, but slightly worse. Dark is good against Earth, so no. I'm not going to bring any Earth monsters. Alright, fine. Spike Snail. 
in Kaminari Kazo. Should I bring in you? You know what? I'm gonna bring in you because there's only one Earth to worry about. And I got room for one more. It's 154 points. So really, I shouldn't hold back too much. I think just for the hell of it, should I bring Wing Dragon? Or maybe I should bring in Mechanical Snail. Actually, who has the better attack? You have the better attack. You just gotta get a little bit closer, so let's bring in Flame Manipulator for once. Alright, I'm thinking Occubeam should start getting some moves over here. Kamakiri Man, pretty much the same thing. Over here. I think I'm gonna bring in Summon Skull over this way. There's only one wood monster, so I'm thinking Flame Manipulator can go here. And Dark Magician, your movement, of course, is diagonal, so I'm going to put you here. Same with Kaminari Kazo can go over here. And Spike Snail, you can go in the back. I don't think I should worry too much about Ishizu in the grand scheme of things. It's time to start. Oh, this music is intense. Kazajin, however, could be a problem. Ryukishin. Oh, you got a Kamakiri man of your own. Another Ryukishin. King Tiger Wanghu. And Sky Dragon! Sky Dragon looks like it could pull a punch. So I'll definitely want to be careful with that, first and foremost. Oh, no more capsules can move. Oh well. I will do as my Millennium Necklace tells me. I have no will of my own. I just rely on an item. Here I go. Okay, she barely summoned anything. So I wonder if I can start uh, establishing a foothold immediately. I think I should do that. That way when she finally does summon them, we're already hitting the ground running. Oh, sad face. I can't move Dark Magician now. Alright, she only brought out the two wind monsters immediately. Okay, if we stay perfectly still, Kamakiri Man can't do anything. Unless I have a better idea. What about Kazijin? What is your movement like? One, two... Three. Okay, so if I go here, I can get hit by Kazijin. You know what? We'll, we'll put you over here, Akubeam. Because Kamakiri Man cannot attack straight forward anyway. I 
I can use that to my advantage. Wait, hold on. Let me calculate that again. One, two, three. Can you attack diagonally? No, you can't. So I picked the right spot. So I should stay right here. I really should get Dark Magician moving. What can Sky Dragon do? Mm, I don't think I should worry too much about that diagonal movement. The only issue I have is that Kamakiri Man cannot really get many moves of his own over here. At least mine can't. Oh! I did not think it could just move there. I did my math wrong. And just like that in one single hit! The tide of destiny swirls from this attack. What? That was one single attack! Oh, that was a gross miscalculation of epic proportions. Okay, I think I can recover from this. Because I do have an attack here, and I do have advantage. That does 99. Ah, damn. Summon Skull cannot reach. What about you, Occubeam? What is your attack? 30! Um, uh, go for it anyway, I guess. This does put me in attack range with the other Kamakiri man, I'm afraid. Well, it can't reach Summon Skull either, so... Small victories, I guess. I think here should be fine. Well, shows how much I know when I say, I think I should be fine, when earlier I wasn't fine. My symbol could get hit right now. And there's nothing I can do about it. Unless... <laughs> what if I just put my symbol right here? It can't do anything, so... Sadly, we can't deal with it until the next turn. I suppose we can just beat down the other monster. He 
even if it does have an attack, it can only hit us, what, once? And we have enough PP to survive, so... Oh, man. If only you had just a little bit more movement. Hmm. I guess I could move Dark Magician over here and I'll be safe. Alright, now let's see how you respond. How do I always get my calculations for movement completely wrong? Then again, I wasn't looking at the tiger. This should be fine. Well, at least it's not a one-shot! Yo, she, she's hitting me real hard. <laughs> she's barely moved that Sky Dragon at all. Also, what the hell is happening? It's sunset now. I mean, this does look really pretty. I just wonder if, uh, type advantages have changed. I think they actually did. You might be able to beat the Kazuchin now. Do it! Yeah! It's beginning a bit too big for its own britches. If I move anywhere, I can probably still get attacked, right? Not if I move over that way. I don't want to constantly just trade shots. Because I took, like, just a little over a hundred. Well, I can hit it twice with Dark Magician and it will die. Attack, Yugi. I know. Huh. Alright, we're gonna have to send everyone forward now. Whether they want to go or not. Yugi, I didn't expect you to be this strong. Well, you about to learn the hard way. Hold on. D that did more. Was that because of the sunset? Yeah, I think so. I won't let you stage a comeback. Hang on. One, two, three... Okay, it can't hit me here. Like, it actually can't hit me here. Could the other Ryukishin do that? 
What? Can the future be changing? No, it can't even get over there. Okay, good. I was getting kind of concerned. Okay, I think we're good for now. We got some people ready, or some monsters ready to go around to her symbol. Uh-oh. Nighttime now. That must mean dark monsters now have an edge. Wait, if I put Dark Magician over here... No, Ryuki Shin can still get over here and attack me. So I can't put you there. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to put you back here. That's a damn shame. This will get things going. I could force you to attack Occubeam. Yeah, I think I should do that. I got the PP to withstand some hits, so... <laughs> PP. Phrasing. Only 45. And that's all! How much can you do to one of these? 135, that's respectable. I must believe in what I saw and remain on the path. I have seen the vision. Yeah, you just said that. Why must you repeat yourself? Oh, if only I was just in range to attack Sky Dragon. Oh, wait a minute. Before I commit to anything... One, two, three... So don't put Dark Magician there. Got it. Here is safe, though. Actually, I should prioritize moving you guys forward.
Maybe not so much you. You're pretty much not gonna do anything. All right, let's go. Uh, Kamakuri Man is probably gonna lose. Yeah, well... Sacrifices had to be made. I feel like I have a pretty bad body count when I'm dealing with Ishtars. Honestly. <laughs> I lost quite a few against Merrick, and it looks like it's gonna repeat itself. Now there's no way he can reach me. That means we just gotta start inching towards that Sky Dragon bit by bit. Not exactly my proudest moment on Area 4, but... At the end of the day, we're still going to win. It's just going to be very slow doing so. I bet you that Sky Dragon has some cobwebs right now. When was the last time it even moved? I think I should let you get the experience. Now we can start converging. Oh, hold on. I have some ideas for Dark Magician now. I'll take some immense damage, but at least I can bring that Sky Dragon over. Actually, no, it's going to stay in the same spot. But I was finally able to hit the damn thing. Congratulations, you finally get to do something. Are you proud of yourself? Is that really how long this fight's been going on? Like a day-night cycle over a few minutes? It's like Genshin. <laughs> Not one of us can go and actually hit that Sky Dragon from here. Well, that sucks. If I move over here, what's going to happen? Oh, I know what. The Dark Magician cannot sustain much damage. Again, even though I could go over there and hit the capsule, it's gonna come at a tremendous cost. So 
So I'm just gonna have to wait. It's gonna start doing something when I start pelting the symbol. Sadly, my best movers are pretty much gone. I just let them go kaput. Wait a minute. Now why exactly did it do that? See, now Sky Dragon can't... Oh wait, yes it can. Unless... Aha! Now you can't get over there. All part of the plan. I'm not worried. The future's already been decided. Uh, well, in that case, you really should be worried. See, now Sky Dragon can't even move because it's blocked by its own symbol and my Occubeam. Well, the symbol could move. I forgot about that little part. I like how I think about this after my turn is over. It never fails. And now it leveled up. Your team is down to half. What can you do now? God damn it. I think about this after the fact, too. Well, I guess we'll just have to beat up Sky Dragon now. That's what you get for exposing me as a hack. I have seen the vision. I must believe. That's only going to do 36. Unbelievable. Only 36. This is probably I would never be an army general, let's be honest. <laughs> Why are you going after Summon Skull? There were better options. Hell, you probably could have hit Occubeam and likely finished it. And that's a win, but Jesus Christ, I really shit the bed on that performance. Congratulations, Yugi. I do not know how you did it, but in this duel, you've changed the future. Ashizu, there is no future for someone who cannot think on their own. Every person can do anything he wants, as long as he truly believes. According to Yugi, it's only a he who can do that, but not a she or a they. Wow, Yugi. What a dick. I Get with the times! Monsters, and that was what showed me the light. Yugi? So people can alter the future. Maybe, but I never believed the future was set in stone. Aha! That means I can believe in a future where you win the championship. Thank you, Ishizu. To be fair, that kind of alludes to the anime where Yugi, or at least Yami Yugi, had the ability to alter destiny when he duels. 
and somehow still lost to Yugi. Which I guess he planned for that all along. Alright, so I got the symbol to level 7, so there's that. Uh, AP... And let's put 2 points in effect strength. Aki Beam at level 4. I can take 3 monsters. Definitely Kazujin. And Sky Dragon. And I guess I might as well take a Ryukishin. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna have to go into the duel against the Amimeric Surrender on purpose and get my monsters back. So I lost quite a few good ones. Like either fighters or utility monsters. Well, both actually. But yeah, my next opponent is Yami Merrick. That's gonna be a tough one. I just hope I'll be ready for him on the corridors of madness. Alright, I'll, I'll see you guys in a bit and I'll get ready for the duel. Alright, I'm back and I should be ready to go against Yami Merrick. I surrendered off screen, my monsters are back in commission. So let's get to it. So one thing I noticed about this particular battlefield, it has a bit of a gimmick that you can really use to your advantage, but your opponent can use that against you too. And we'll go over that as soon as the fight starts. And it involves these squares right in front of you. <laughs> Greetings, Pharaoh. Merrick. Merrick? No, I'm something much more exciting. It's time to duel against shadows and darkness! <laughs> what do you want? The title is Capsule Monster's Champion? The title? <laughs> I care nothing about the title. What I want is simple. I want everything! I want the world in my clutches! But what I want most is your defeat as you run in the Shadow Realm! You've lost your mind. I will stop you, no matter what it costs. <laughs> then let's duel, Pharaoh! Alright, so I did get a feel for what is what types of monsters he brings out as well. He has some wind, uh, dark, believe it or not, light, and fire. So because this is like a dark terrain, dark monsters will be king. Yeah, three wind monsters to be exact. Alright, so I can bring up to 900 MP for this, which is awesome. So, best to hit the ground running. Uh, Summit Skull will be good. Followed by, maybe Dark Magician? Oh, I didn't even put Blue Eyes White Dragon in my capsule deck, I just realized. This might pose an issue. Okay, rather than just pull it back, let's just keep going. Do I want Wicked Dragon with the Ursat's head? Does that do more? No, it doesn't do more. I'm thinking Harpy Lady might be good for this. And what else do I want to bring? Maybe Mechanical Snail? Kamakiri Man might also be good. Once we get rid of the fire monsters. Feral Limp is usually pretty reliable. And I think Occubeam's pretty reliable too. Uh, 
Although I think it might get wiped in a single blow. I'm wondering if I should bring in Karibo or Kaminari Kazo. Kaminari Kazo only has 150 HP. So I'm wondering if I sh I'm better off with Karibo, actually. You know what? I think I am better off with Karibo. And the reason why I want to go with Karibo is because it also has diagonal movement. And I would like something that can move pretty fast. Because you're going to see these tiles actually have a bit of a roll. So let's hit the ground running with some monsters up on the front like this. I'm going to put Harpy Lady back here. Summon Skull can hang back here. Dark Magician. I guess I can put you over here. Let's get started. It's time to start. All right, you see these squares right here? Well, I'm going to showcase them as soon as I get a turn to move. But they will actually play a pretty good role in actually manipulating how Merrick will actually move his monsters. Well, we won't be able to see that yet because he won't be able to move either. Entertain me! Yeah, I think that's a twin-headed behemoth there. That must be a blast juggler. Here I go. All right, so let's see. You can move pretty much four spaces diagonally. You can also move diagonally. So yeah, you see these tiles over here. As soon as you step on one, watch what happens. It sinks the one on the other side, while pretty much mirrored, like, pretty much identical on this axis. So you can probably step on certain tiles to make it so that if Yami Merrick has to move, he has to step on a sunken tile. That's why I'm trying to get as many moves as I can. It's actually make it trickier for him to move around. You know, I could move my, uh... Symbol there as well. Maybe I can let my symbol do some of this. If you stand on a sinking, like a sunken tile, you'll take damage. Keep that in mind. Okay, this is not sunken. That lane in the middle cannot sink, by the way. So you don't have to worry about that. Should get Dark Magician moving, too. Let's get Summon Skull out. That central area over there is safe too, by the way.
All right, your move. That looks like another Manga Sonic Eye. That looks like a Wicked Dragon with the Earth's head. head. A Ryukishin. Actually, maybe that's not light. That's probably thunder. I should get Summon Skull over there. Oh, that's already sunk. Oops. Alright, so let's look at the math. If I go... Let's see. Over here, it can hit me that way. It goes over here, it can hit me... Not that way. Yeah, I think this is safe. Let's see. If it stays over here, it hits that way. If it goes over there, it can hit me there, or it can hit me over here. Wait, hold on. Uh, okay, so it's safe to go here. Or should I still want more tiles? Yeah, let's do that. We'll just keep trolling a bit longer. Yeah, try to remember not to stand on tiles I've already stepped on. Oh, you you would just cross over all the way here. Well, it's only a blast juggler anyway. I was never a fan of dealing with monsters that can move diagonally. I'm ahead. I'll finish this duel quickly. Wow. That's a bit cocky there, Yugi. Can't go doing that. Oh, and I can't step on that tile like move this one. Damn. Step on this one, though. That really limits Ryukishin severely. Oh, so close. Okay, so that twin ended behemoth, if I move to use Harpy Lady, it'll hit. Or I can aim over here to hit Aki Beam. <coughs> I think I'd rather bait the Harpy Lady. Stop stalling! Hurry up! Okay, okay, jeez. I didn't know it was that time of the month for you, Merrick. I think I'd rather use Harpy Lady as bait for an attack than Occubeam. <laughs> nice attack! Very effective! Pharaoh! I like that delay there, it's like... Pharaoh! <laughs> I 
Oh wait, maybe you might use a different target. One, two, three. So I'll move Feral Imp back. You don't have anything, unfortunately. If it's gonna hit Harpy Lady regardless, I better get myself ready. Or I can get on this tile. Make things worse for him. Let's just say it goes that way. I can then use Dark Magician. Alright, that's good for now. You don't scare me. I invented the meaning of the word fear. Yep, it took the bait. Good. Although I didn't think you'd place yourself there. It was a lot of damage, but it survived. Oh. See, this is why I don't like facing diagonals. Because of that kind of crap. I don't know about you, but where the hell is your wicked dragon gonna go? Oh, and I can't step over there. Unless I can get summoned skull there in time before it moves. So both of us can hit this. So I think we should. It'll get a hit on Occubeam if I move here, but I could make it so you take damage stepping on that. What do you mean that only does 10? Yo! Ah, stop stalling! Hurry up! I guess I should still go for it, honestly. Because even if it hits Occubeam, it's not going to do much there, either. I don't want to step on this tile because it actually sinks it that way. Either. Okay, fine, I'll make a move. Can I make it a little bit harder for me if I need to cross over? So I think what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna send Kamakiri Man over here. Do I have any more tiles I can steal from him? I do. There, now you can barely sink any tiles on my terrain. 
So I'm sinking them all on his. I'll keep Dark... Actually, I'll move Dark Magician... Um... It might go that way. In case Twin Edit Behemoth decides to move, Dark Magician can hit it. Wow, you're actually gonna move it right there. Yep, you took the bait. You went for an attack disadvantage. So now I can smack you twice. That's 50 damage right there, too. I don't know what you were thinking with that one. This fight is literally just trolling Yami Merrick. That's all it is! It's just trolling him! More than fighting! You should get this. I need you to gain levels anyway, Dark Magician. Level up! Looks at things, Yami Mare can barely do anything. Actually, we can hit this thing twice. Ha! Not bad. Yep. I actually used the trap to totally destroy him. Oh, that one's already been taken out. Yeah, this is all I can do. He's got three of his monsters pulled over there on that side. Probably just to guard the symbol. In case I make a push for it. Yeah, he's kind of trapped. He really just can't move anywhere. I say we start getting up in his space next. I believe that's the, pretty much the only thing we can do. If he sends some of his monsters ready to attack us, that's at a cost to him. I don't know if he can commit to that kind of leap. If he can, fair game to him, I guess. But he's still gonna have to do something. Other than only moving the symbol. He 
He didn't go for an attack? Why not? Oh, we can't get anyone on that tile on time. That's unfortunate. Oh, this will wreck him right there. wait for you to come to me. By the time you finally make it, you're just gonna exhaust yourself. Hang on, what's your movement? One, two. One, two, two. Okay, Dark Magician's fine if he goes there. Yeah, I can go this way. Hang on. Megasonic Eye can only move diagonally too, right? No, he can only attack diagonally. Alright, go for it! Come on over! Risk your monsters! That one managed to get away from all the damage. But look at that Megasonic Eye! By the time it reaches us, it's dusted. Can you one-shot this thing? You can! Do it! But now we sunk it on our side. How much will this do? 52. Don't, don't do it. It's not worth it. Well, even if it attacks Dark Magician, it's still gotta get itself into bad terrain. So it doesn't really have a way out. How much can you do? Forty-three. I can wait. I think I'll just keep you over here. This is going a little bit better than I thought, and it's all because I prioritized taking away his movement. Hmm, 131. That's still high.
but now one one place shot can beat him. Get bodied. So all he's got left is this. Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number two. <coughs> So with that, he can't really move anywhere, can he? No, he can't reach. So, you know what that means. We gotta storm the yard. Get ready to swarm him with everything we got. <laughs> so really only losing one monster will be the lone casualty. I'm not proud of it, but it could be a lot worse. Mm, I don't think Dark Magician's in a good position anymore. Unless... Go for quite a hit over here. And I think I can survive at least one hit. Ha, not bad. Uh, if only I could have just waited one more turn. I would have had a lot of movement to use. Ha, huh, joke's on you. That tower was already sunk. Alright, if Dark Magician gotta take a hit, it takes a hit. It's only 124. That's it, we win. But if anybody else can hit the symbol, I'll prioritize that any day of the week. Hmm. As much as I've been liking Kamakiri Man, Dark Magician needs this more. This will finish you. Boom. I'll make you pay, Pharaoh. And that's a win. Much cleaner than against the Shizu. Round Pharaoh, but next time I will destroy you until you're nothing more than a memory. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> See ya, Merrick. Looks like I'm not done with him yet. Ooh, pretty much every monster leveled up that stayed alive. Occupine's a level 5. Karibo's a level 5. Feral Imp is at level 7. Ooh, Dark Magician has Dark Magic Attack now. Ooh, that's gonna be really good. Summon Skull's at level 8. He's just one away from max level. <laughs> and Kamakiri Mana level 3. Oh, you can only take two monsters this time? That's lame. Well, I should take Winged Dragon Guardian of Fortress number 2. 
I think I have all the others except Mega Sonic I. Weird that it would only like, let me take two. I've been so accustomed to taking three. Alright, so we have only one duelist left on Area 4, and that's Yami Bakura. But first, I should go to the shop and see what else I can buy, because I stockpiled quite a few MP. And I gotta remember in between episodes to change my capsule deck to include Blue Eyes. Yeah, I expect Yami Bakura to put up a hell of a fight. All right, Grandpa, let's see what you got. What would you like to do? Oh, my castle deck stock is also at 50. All right, do I even have a man-eating black shark? I don't think I do. I know I don't have an electric lizard. I'm surprised I don't have an electric lizard. I should get an immortal thunder. What would you like to do? All right, let's see what I got. In water, at least. I got 48% of monsters already? Okay, I definitely don't have a uh, man-eating shark. I'll buy it just because. It could be fun. What would you like to do? Oh, I don't have mech bass either. Look at that mouth. What would you like to do? All right, we'll save. I'll change my capsule deck off-screen. Hopefully I won't forget to do that again. Alright, I've gotten over 11 and a half hours on this save file. That's pretty good. For at least, uh, closing in on Area 4 being done. So, let's stop the video here. And in the next episode, we'll take on Yami Bakura to close out Area 4. See you everyone, thanks for watching.